All right, everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Cowboy Trades, and today I'm going to be teaching you the difference between market cap and fully diluted market cap. So, this is a very easy metric to explain. It'll take me only a minute. Let's jump right into the video. All right, starting off with the market cap, which is the most commonly used metric. The market cap is simply a function of the Bitcoin price at the moment times the circulating supply. So just to show you how we'd get that, we'd paste the current Bitcoin price into the calculator and times it by the existing supply. So you don't need to know how to calculate this. Uh, all you need to do is come onto coin market cap and it will calculate it for you. But basically the market cap is how much money is in a crypto at the moment. For this example, we're using Bitcoin. So what is the fully diluted market cap then? So the fully diluted market cap from a mathematical perspective is the current price times the max supply. So the fully diluted market cap will always be more than the existing market cap because we have a greater amount of supply that still needs to be introduced uh, to the coin or the token. So in this example, if we times the current Bitcoin price by 21 million, which as you can imagine is a higher number than the total supply at the moment, we will get 886 billion, uh, which correlates to this. Now, sometimes they're off by, you know, a fraction of a percentage. As you can see here, this is what, 400 million off. Uh, but all in all, they are pretty accurate and you don't really need to worry about, you know, nitpicking a 1% difference between the two. So what the fully diluted market cap really means is if, hypothetically speaking, the total supply of Bitcoin got released today, for Bitcoin to equals $42,201, the market cap would need to be $886 billion. Obviously, there's more coins to introduce which aren't currently in circulation. They're not in velocity right now. So they don't equate to the market cap or the current supply. So once again, the market cap is simply the amount of money in the market at the moment, which is established through the current price times the circulating supply. And the fully diluted market cap is the market cap it would need to be to equals this price at this moment in time. And that's established by getting the price and timesing it by the max supply. All right, one last example and a warning sign for altcoin investors. So obviously this isn't financial advice. This is just my own opinion and what I do personally look for when I am investing in altcoins. Now, I like to make sure that the market cap and the fully diluted market cap are somewhat similar. If we come over to Bitcoin, you can see that there is barely, you know, a 10% or so difference between the market cap and the fully diluted market cap. Uh, and obviously there are a lot of altcoins which do have a very big difference in the market cap and the fully diluted market cap. So this one, not so much. And also if we do come over to the coin market cap, we can see that coin market cap doesn't actually have the accurate information for the total supply at the moment and the max supply. So that is the number one warning flag that I want to kind of teach you before you walk away from this video. The second warning flag is when you have a circulating supply, which is extremely low. Say, for example, hypothetically, this was only 5% of the circulating supply released at the moment. That would mean that there is a ton more inflation uh, before all of the max supply is released. And obviously, if the market cap isn't getting bigger, and the circulating supply is increasing, then the price of the coin is going to plummet over time. So you are looking for altcoins, in my opinion, that have a similar market cap to fully diluted market cap. And it is kind of wise to invest in tokens or coins with, you know, at least a somewhat decent circulating supply already out. Personally, for me, for example, I wouldn't want to invest in any token or any coin that had you know, five or 10% of the circulating supply out. All right, so now we know the difference between the market cap and the fully diluted market cap. So if you've watched all this way, thanks for watching. This is part of a greater series that I have on my channel uh, of educational content for crypto. So if that's something that interests you, check out my channel. I do daily technical analysis and I post 
occasional educational content like this. So once again, thanks for watching. Cowboy out. Peace.